Okay, y'all. So, real quick, I really wanted to um, add something or connect something from my last video. So, I created a video called You Are the Lottery. Um, so, if you haven't watched that video on my channel, go check it out. But I wanted to <clears throat> go into more um, depth of that topic because I kind of was a little all over the place, but making certain points. So a lot of my videos, there's multiple different points that I'm making within the video, right? Because a lot of times when I'm speaking, I'm just speaking on things that just come through my mind, right? Like a download. But for me, um, the, the major point in that video was that we are a frequency of wealth, right? We have a choice to choose um, on which direction we go to, whether we want to focus on becoming a millionaire, focus on, you know, understanding money to gain more money, or focus on, you know, the negative aspect of greediness and, you know, not having and whatnot. And so there's multiple points in that video, but with this video, I really wanted to focus on the point of um, believing within yourself, you know, shifting your mindset into understanding what wealth really means to you and how you can, you know, perceive the world differently, perceive your environment differently to believe that you are rich, to believe that you are wealthy already without having thousands, millions of dollars in your bank account. And I kind of touched on that a little bit, you know, speaking on the fact that, you know, we get to choose where we put our money, you know, we get to, you know, make certain risks, do certain things, but also going into the topic of celebrities and, you know, people with money, billionaires and looking at them or perceiving them in a certain way, right? You know, for me, you know, I've come across people where it's like all the billionaires, they believe all the billionaires, people with money are evil or greedy or corrupt. And it's like, okay, well, why don't you shift that into becoming a millionaire and not being evil and corrupt, right? And so for me, you know, that's a goal of mine is becoming a wealth magnet, learning the strategies of the wealth, you know, instead of, you know, nagging them and, and being, give me, give me, give me, you know, I deserve your money, the money that they've possibly created from themselves, you know, not saying that there's no greedy people, you know, greedy millionaires, right? But more so shifting your mind within yourself to become a millionaire and be able to give back, be able to look at money differently, you know, be able to look at things differently. And that starts with, you know, looking at what you already have, you know, instead of focusing on what everybody else has, right? Focus on what you already have. You know, if you're you're able to pay your bills, you're not broke, you're you're secured. You're you've paid all your bills. You may not have no money in your bank account, but you're secure and being able to go about how to, okay, well, maybe there's certain things that I can budget, maybe there's certain things that I can cut back and and learning that. And that's what I've had to do for myself, you know, is learning how to budget, learning how to spend money and what do I really need or what do I really want right it's so like a lot of times i like to get my nails done but sometimes you know i may have to sacrifice and not get my nails done it's not necessarily a bad sacrifice you know it's just something that you know i want to spend money or invest money in a certain another area instead of getting my nails done you know it's certain small things really that you got to look at within your lifestyle within your life in general and that's what i've had to do for myself um to really you know shift my mind shift my mind into understanding where i want to go in life you know how i want to see my life how i want to live my lifestyle right i had the coffee cup in my last video and it you know it's really spoke on you know where you know what you spend your money on like me I like nice things. I like fancy, bougie things. I'm a bougie chick. And so you can go to Ross, you can go to, you know, thrift stores, you can go to certain things. You know, it's also part of my creative side and, and spend money on, on clothes or certain things that you, you really want to get like perfumes, oils for a good discount. And sometimes you, you know, 
you can get really lucky and get some of this stuff for free. There's so many free resources right out there. You just got to be able to be willing to search, be willing to look and be able to, you know, believe and know within yourself that it's, it's, it's all for you. What you desire, right? This is what I've learned with, you know, shifting my mind, you know, utilizing manifestation techniques, um, diving really deep within not only my spiritual journey, but the resources that are out there, the free, especially the free information that's out there on the internet, YouTube, you know, people, right? You know, they can give you a lot of good insight of how to go about certain things. And if it works for you, if it works for you, if it doesn't, you know, you shift into something that works for you, you know, because there's people that don't like to, you know, do certain things. I know I'm one of those individuals that if I'm not passionate, super, super passionate about it, I'm not necessarily going to necessarily going to put my heart and soul into it. You know, I'm going to do something that really works with my lifestyle, you know, that I flow with. It's just like a job. You get to choose where you work. You know, you go to an interview, you know, you you can choose if you really want to work at that place that you're interviewing for. You get to choose where you apply to. You get to choose what career you want to go into, you know? And if there's really no job or career or what not title, you can create that within yourself, right? You can become an entrepreneur. You can figure out ways to make money for yourself in small ways, you know? It's like starting off with goals, right? So it's that kind of thing that connects to wealth, that connects to becoming that lottery within yourself, you know, where you live, your environment, you know, what you want to pay for rent and how to go about it. Because I know I was speaking on like I live in California and a lot of people look at it as very expensive, you know, shifting that mindset into instead of it being expensive, find ways you can make it work for you. You know, if the rent is going up, you know, understand how you can go about that. And knowing it's not gonna be necessarily fun or easy, right? And that's that's what life is. That's what going through trials and tribulations is. You know, I talked a little bit about me being homeless and me, you know, going through poverty and, and growing up in a way to where it's like I had to learn a lot of, you know, different ways of doing things instead of old ways because a lot of people are stuck in their old ways. A lot of people are taught certain things, right? It's expanding, it's evolving your mindset, right? Because it starts with us, it starts with you. And really finding that inspiration, that spark within yourself. And 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 me, you know, just speaking on my own experience, it, it hasn't been easy, it hasn't always been fun, you know, pushing myself, motivating myself, or just being disciplined with, in certain areas and just fighting, even though I feel like there's no hope you know, I feel like, you know what, fuck it, this is, you know, this is, this is not, nothing's going for me, you know, having, you know, having that mindset, believing that at one point in time, um, and so there's a lot of points within this messages, within the messages that I share from my last video and this video, which connects, um, but it's understanding, you know, looking outside of yourself, you know, understanding the bigger picture overall, um, within wealth, within yourself, within how you perceive the world, how you perceive money, and how you really want to transform your life. You know, you look at it like a movie, right? Look at it as if you're the main character and the co-director. Because me, I believe it's not just about me. I believe, you know, there's a divine connectedness within all of us. And even though we may not all understand it logically or have certain beliefs, certain stories that we understand or how we ever see the world we can still utilize it in a way to where it allows us to come together it allows us to see the bigger picture it allows us to really truly tune in to our essence our frequency um and just you know how we go about life and living you know while we're here right and really reaching something within ourselves to help transform not only ourselves in our mindset, but others as well too. Like everything that I've been through, right? 
I've, all my experiences, you know, all the knowledge that I've gained that I'm, you know, sharing right now could possibly help somebody else, guide somebody else, um, motivate someone else, inspire someone else to really shift their mind. You know, it's the, it's the little things that really can help transform us. There's been so many people that have come in my life, negative and positive, that have, you know, mentored me in a way to help me realize what I want and what I don't want, right? And so it's looking at those those things, those aspects within your life. If you know you don't want to be broke, if you know you don't want this, you know, lifestyle, this job, or just this energy around you, you have the choice to transmute it, change it, redirect it, and move around it. It may not happen in an instant, but you still have that choice to really develop and understand how you can go about that, however long it may take, right? And so with that, I just wanted to piggyback off, you know, you are the lottery video. So if you haven't checked that video out, again, go check it out, watch it, and see how it connects to this video for you. Because mind you, there's multiple points to my messages, to my videos. And if you, you know, feel called to watch any of my other videos, awesome. Because my channel is, you know, all about just sharing my wisdom and shit, my creativity, and, you know, how I see the world, how I go about the world in different phases within different versions of myself. And sometimes we can get so stuck on one thing and and it's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing it's just something that for me i'm one of those those multi-dimensional persons multi-dimensional beings that you know has a lot of experience in a lot of different things and you know i'm very inner diverse i guess i will say but it 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 works for me and it's a powerful thing because I feel like I can connect to a more variety of people, you know, more people and, and help them aid in them with any, any, in any way I possibly can. And so with that, you know, um, thank you for watching and I really hope this guides you in some way or form. So peace.